Hey YouTube, oh, what's up? I don't know, should I be driving while doing this? Okay, I'm gonna be looking at the road, not the camera. But at least you can still hear me. Uh, yeah, I know that not, I did a ton of driving over the last couple of days this weekend. And I hate slow drivers. Anyways, though, the Great Philadelphia Comic Con was, well, was in Oaks, Pennsylvania, but like pretty much right there where Philly is. I got to meet a lot, quite a few people that I watched TV shows during my childhood, which was awesome. I guess you could say the main person that I saw, and it was just like, um, uh, like, geez. Man, dreams do, some dreams do come true, and boy, did I get a lot of attention on Facebook when I posted this photo. I got to meet Amy Jo Johnson, who played Kimberly, the original Pink Ranger on the show Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, you know, popular kids show back in the day, and man, she still got it. <laughs> it was... It was awesome meeting her. She was really nice, sweet. I mean, was, even though it was like a brief chat, because, you know, it's like a lot of people wanted to meet her. You know, they were waiting in line. So it's understandable. So you can't really, like, chat for forever, you know. You gotta at least let everyone have their turn. But, what can I say, you know? I, that was one of my main reasons of going. Uh, but, you know, it was a lot of fun, though. She, I mean, it's nice to see her doing the conventions, uh, for, you know, a little more. Uh, I know she's, um, really trying to get her movie, The Space Between, as she just did her, uh, film, de uh, directorial debut, you know, first feature film, and because even though she's, you know, she's done two other shorts, but I guess you could say the transition of directing and, um, from acting to directing this guy, I guess you could say he's her, and she's truly found her passion. And seeing her both shorts, it pretty much shows it right there. But, uh, hey, you know, it's just good for her, and I'm, and I guess you could say doing the convention circuit's a really good way to get the movie out there. I'm telling you, it's... Even though she's, I mean, like, she says she embraces Power Rangers and she's very grateful for that. It's, hey, you know, it's, she may not constantly post Power Rangers as her other co-stars or may not be around them during the event, but it doesn't mean that she doesn't care. And, of course, you gotta have, you gotta love bad drivers. <laughs> but, no, but she does, so. Um, I did, uh, she also had a Q&A, though, and I was the second person to ask her if she got a role in an all-female Expendables cast, you know, handed a role, would she take it, and who would, uh, she want to be co-star with? She said, absolutely, of course, she said, like, Meryl Streep, Julia Roberts, she's kind of thinking of her favorite, and I should have kind of jumped in on her as saying that, you know, I would really love to see you with Michelle Rodriguez, Gina Carano, I mean, really, you know, the, the babes that kick ass, and she kicks ass too, you know, she'll have, like, a character of, like, her character will be, like, you know, a, a combination mix of, of, uh, her, her two main characters, Jules from Flashpoint and Kimberly, and that would be quite freaking hilarious, awesome, and just badass, and just determined, and, 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 you know, she'll get shit done, but, uh, yeah, it was, it was, the experience very, went very well, nice, and, you know, hey, it would be nice to maybe meet her again another day, you know, if she even, even has a hint of coming down to Atlanta, I, I would freaking be there in a New York second, you would, you know, Please come to Atlanta. Anyways, of course, also saw our former co stars Johnny Young Bosch, Austin St. John. Second time meeting Austin St. John. He's got, he's got his uh, dyeing in his hair, top part, blonde. And he looks like that celebrity chef, which I forgot his name, but he's doing that for you know, a movie role, though. And he's got these like short movies or indie movies 
that he's doing. So he's doing a lot of work, though. He it just uh, likes to be, I guess you could say, in a way, not like Hollywood, but still in the entertainment industry, but helping those filmmakers that would rather be more control into their work than the big studios, if you know what I mean. And good job, That's I totally support him, 100%. Anyway, so, uh, uh, last other person, Kel Mitchell. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Kanan and Kel, Kel, all that. Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? I'm a douchey, the dude, we're all dudes. The man himself, yes, Kel Mitchell. <laughs> I got I got to meet him. His table was right next to Austin St. John's table. <laughs> oh man, it was just like it, it was it was still pretty cool though, you know, it's he all said uh he he could see himself being as the orange ranger. I would oh, yeah, I would love to see that. I would love to see that. Kel Mitchell, the orange ranger. His weapon will be kind of this soda that he would just spray on you, and it would just be like, I guess you could say like, it would like burn you, you know, just kind of just like, just like disintegrate your body once it touches you, and yeah, that that would, oh my god, I just, there you go, there it is. Would it make it happen, Saban? Would you would you do that? Would you cast Kel Mitchell right now as the Orange Ranger? Where soda is his weapon, you know, he would get two cr soda cans, you know, orange soda crush, shake them up, and then sh open up and spray you, and you would be defeated. Yes. Yes, we could do that. Can we do that? Will we do that? Please? I think so. Maybe. One day. Hey, a guy could think, right? But anyways, uh... Yeah, it was it was good. Got didn't get much sleep. Well, first of all, driving from Atlanta to Philly is twelve hours, roughly. At least that's how long it took me. And um, I got to driving up north. I got to know you know what are the best routes. I guess you could say in terms of GPS, either took me the shortest route or the long or the fastest route. <sighs> got to watch out for freaking tolls and certain roads that you miss. Or else you're going to have to pay more than what you think you should. It's, uh, especially coming back. But, hey, you know, it's just... First time driving up there by myself. And, yeah, it's it can get you on the lower back and the legs. And I know coming back, I I was just... There were some moments where I'm just like, oh, I was almost right. I was just so tired. I tried to sleep a little bit. Uh, at the convention, you know, they have a huge parking lot that's at, at that center, Expo Center, you know, and I just, like, during the breaks, though, especially after meeting, uh, the celebrities, you know, and waiting for the panel, I was just, there was a moment I wanted to eat something and try to see if I could take a nap. I tried to take a nap, but I was like, it's just not working. It not, it's not working at all. I just, uh, oh, hell with it. I'll just stay up and just, like, kind of walk around more around the floor, see what I could, see what I find, and who I run into, and whatever, whatnot, but, uh, yeah, it was just, it, when I really got tired was when, at night, driving back, I stopped at some rest station in West Virginia, I just sat, like, right back there, well, not sat, I just sat on that side, and just laid down on my left side, and just, I just went, boom. I did, uh, I probably got a good three to four hours, though. I woke up somewhere around four or five in the morning, and I'm like, all right. Yeah, now now it's time to go and start the car and went, went back. Oh, yeah, and also the fact that I definitely got to get an oil change, which I'm going to do tomorrow morning. Yeah, because I just, it's, I definitely went past, my mark on uh, 3,000 miles on oil change even though you technically could go a lot further yes but 
when you drive for long, long periods and you do pass that mark, even though I haven't and I haven't had an oil change in about three months, yeah, yeah, and most of that has been stop and go uh, city traffic. It's gonna mean that you're gonna get a little change sooner, which I do. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Take it to the shop that I normally go to and get that fixed. But, uh, it was, I, I just, it was just a spontaneous thing for me to do. Drive all the way to a state that I've only been to twice. You know, driving there, not freaking knowing, especially leaving, like, having to wait for my phone to charge, knowing where the hell I was going, but, hey, that's the whole thing about life. You gotta explore, you gotta do stuff. You haven't done it, and eventually, that's how you live. You have a good time doing it. Yeah? I believe so. Anyways, though, I'm done chit-chatting, ranting. Yes. Meeting Amy Joe Johnson, meeting Austin St. John again, meeting Johnny Young Bosch, uh, meeting Kel Mitchell. That was, that was a win-win. Win-win weekend. And, yeah, especially <laughs> social media, like I said, like, I got a bunch of likes, you know, when I post pictures of Young, Johnny Young, Bosch, Austin St. John, Kel Mitchell, but, I'm telling you, man, when I posted Amy jo with Amy Jo Johnson, I said, who was your childhood crush? Who was your first childhood crush? Hashtag, it's morphin' time. I got, like, 90 likes on that photo. I mean, I got more likes on that photo than I've would have had on um, people posting on my wall for a happy birthday. It was crazy. I was like, yeah, I guess people do remember Kimberly from Power Rangers. It was, I'm like, my phone was constantly blowing up. And also on Twitter as well, though. Which, on Saturday, though, Amy Jo Johnson retweeted and favored my tweet. And, of course, she did that to uh, anybody else's tweet. That got to meet her, though, so. Hey. Like I said, it's a win-win. Win-win situations always win and come out on top. And they'll be the best. Just plain and simple. Alright. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, it's just... Gotta go back to work, life, and other stuff. And just, just live... Live your life. Be like, well, what's living will work? Um, but, hey. That's a video for another time. Anyways, though, I'm on. I gotta do stuff. Bye.